Today, I'm gonna be playing, oh my fucking god, Planet Zoo. A game where you make a zoo, but the ethics are up to you. These animals are dead. Now, I've obsessively played this game before, so I'm gonna be showing you the first zoo I ever made. We will be making one together in this video, but I thought I'd show you how simplistic my zoos can be. So my zoo is very simple. I played in franchise mode with barely any money, so that's why the decor and the path planning is super simplistic. I just like to think it's very European and tidy. I'm also incredibly proud of this dinky monorail system that runs through my zoo. It's pretty neat. Now that you know what I'm capable of, it is time for us to make a zoo together. I think for fun, we'll have a tropical zoo set in South America. That's where the tropics are, right? Your butt cheeks is warm. Butt cheeks is warm will be the best zoo to ever grace this planet. Wait, how? Oh, Jesus Christ, camera Indiana Jones. How am I supposed to make a zoo when there's barely any flat surface to place buildings and I don't know, enclosures on? What the fuck? All right, first things first, we gotta get this terrain situation sorted out quick. If you think this looks suspicious, you should have more faith in me. There we go, just gotta even out the terrain a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, she's coming together. Just gotta add a little uh, mountain top for real- Oh my god. <laughs> Don't look at her. She's not ready yet. Go back inside. This is really not <laughs> how I expected it'll turn out. Maybe a little color will bring her together. Don't know why I'm calling it or her. This is really, <laughs> oh my God. All right, now that the important stuff is dealt with, it's time to add the paths so that our guests can actually get around our zoo. Because what would be a zoo without the people who pay good money to watch innocent animals suffer in captivity? I'm not doing anything too complicated, just a really simple winding path through our beautiful zoo. Obviously, you don't want just one path or else it'll get really congested with traffic, so I've added a few branching paths. And it'll all just loop back around. There we go. <laughs> you know, I think it would be really aesthetically pleasing if we made our guests go through a spooky forest before they actually get into our zoo. Really solidify those haunting overtones of the exotic animal trade and the trauma it causes to those caged bastards. And some foliage, because The Sims 4 truly turned me into a landscaping whore and nothing looks good without a million bushes. Just like how I like my women, am I right, lad? <laughs> okay, I figured this might be too scary, so I'm adding a branching path with a toilet in case anybody shat themselves at this point. Don't say I don't take customer service to heart because I do. Although to keep up with the theme, I think I kind of want this whole serial killer shack vibe to be going on. I mean, it comes with drawbacks, doesn't it? Taking shit in the middle of the woods. You know, I really shouldn't have started building after I made the forest because it's fucking hard to see. <laughs> And to finish her off with full spooky vibes, a sign that says, go away. <laughs> How fucking scary. <laughs> I also forget that the zoo is open at night as well, so when you're coming here at night, oh yeah, that looks spooky. No, no, wait, there's more to be done. Wait, yes, a gorilla. Would you take shit in the woods if a gorilla was there? Because I wouldn't. This is really like a risk versus reward situation. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and you just come in and oh, oh, I really gotta take a poo, but that looks really scary. <laughs> what is wrong with me? When I played Planet Coaster, I was extremely obsessed with lights, so it's no surprise that I'm going to be really extra and make the forest extra green. Don't be mad, I'm just going with the theme, okay? It was today I learned that I am still mentally 13 years old. Wow. Wait for it, finishing touches. This will really bring it together. <laughs> I've been playing for 30 minutes and I've not added any animals or enclosures. So we're gonna do a very basic starter enclosure. I also forgot that you need staff buildings to run a zoo for staff, apparently. So I'm picking these because they are just so extra. I mean, be honest with me guys. Do I really have mental issues if the first thing that goes through my mind is putting a hippo in the water on the way to the staff room as a way to scare the staff every time they try to go do their work? Am I okay? And time to hire the poor bastards that will have to keep this dumpster fire in check. Okay, I've suddenly decided that I'm building a spook tunnel that will connect the different parts of my zoo. 
I don't know why, I live only to terrorize my guests. Oh no, does this idea suddenly feed my crippling light addiction? What? Are we putting spooky lights in here? Oh gosh, who allowed this? No. And a little speaker to put in some spooky ambiance and there's nothing spooky in here. And just you wait guys, the scariest thing of them all is gonna be right here. Climate change. Yes, now every time they have to walk past here, they have to remember the crippling truth of climate change. I mean, we've gotta light this up. It's only ethical. The spook tunnel's looking a little ugly. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. So we're just gonna dress her up a little bit. There we go, look at you. I almost don't recognize you. Okay, an hour in, we're gonna get some freaking animals in here, I fucking promise. Okay, what are we gonna put in? Something easy. Indian peafowls are really pretty, they're really easy, they're really good starter animals in my opinion to have in your zoo. Now I know you might think, you might think that I am very, very bad at looking after my animals, but trust me, these animals are gonna be perfectly taken care of. Look, one's got a toy next to the peepee -pee statue in a grazing area, it's gonna be fine. This one's gonna be called Sally. Oh, what's this one gonna be called? Oh, oh, I know, I know. This one's gonna be called Stinky. Oh, and this one looks like a little bongo. <gasps> Look at those feathers. You are so fabulous, mister. Oh yeah, that's what we're calling ya. I really don't wanna get sucked by YouTube in the rear, so I'm just gonna censor the peepee -pee statues for now. Might be a bit too late, to be honest. All right, enclosure number two this time. All right, we're going all out. We want people to actually show up to this goddamn place. No one's gonna show up for some stinky pea fowls. No, we need something big. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. it looks like a wrestling cage. Jesus Christ. I guess it's time we address the big elephant in the room. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Help. Is this unethical space for an elephant? I mean, I don't think so. I put a watering hole in there. All right, here she is. I'm so excited. Oh, she's beautiful. What do you think of your new enclosure? Oh no, <laughs> I know what to call you. Janine, don't be sad, have this weird thingy to play with, you'll be fine. I know that putting a gift shop right next to the clearly suffering elephant makes it look like I'm only doing this for monetary gain, but I feel like that point of view is purely subjective and therefore wrong. Listen, the elephant is the main attraction, the money maker, and we've gotta make sure that people are looking, so what about all these beautiful lights? I mean, surely this is not distressing at all for the elephant. I mean, <laughs> you enjoying your new enclosure, Janine? Huh? Uh, protesters have arrived at my zoo already, opening day. Wow, I mean, protest all you want, guys. You still gave me money to come in here. <laughs> it's not that bad. Good thing, oh, look, they brought their family, their kids. It's okay. Okay, I could see what you're angry about, but hey, hey, look, I'll, I'll put her on birth control. There you go, you happy? See, everything's fine. You know what I think the solution is? advertisement. If SeaWorld can get away with it, we can get away with it. With some really happy family commercials, that's how you fix everything, right? By lying. <gasps> Sally's about to mate. Sally, look at you. You got yourself a looker. All right. All right. I won't look. I promise. Such romantic lighting under the peepee -pee fountain. It doesn't get much better than this. I figured one was not enough, so I decided that two was better. All right, we've got to utilize space better. So I'm gonna make a literal stairway to heaven and a tier two for my zoo. I mean, we could leave it floating. Although I feel so sorry for the poor bastards that are gonna climb all the way up here to see some flying enclosures. Can you even do that? I don't even think you can do that, but <laughs> oh my god. No, okay, we've got to terrain it, so that's fine. Ooh, we can make like the staff building live in this like creepy little cave. I just have an obsession with tunnels. Tunnels. Okay, the stairway to heaven's gonna have- Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna want to climb this. Why? All right, I'm putting some food and drink stalls up here because people, if they're hungry or thirsty, they're gonna have to come up here. So this is my only way <laughs> of forcing people to actually come up here. And in the middle, I'll have like a little sunken in enclosure. So as you come around, you can look down and see the animals. I think that would be pretty cool if I could get it to work. All right, if we want people to see this, we're gonna have to have some really high profile animals. You know, I'm thinking lions. Are you thinking lions? Well, too fucking bad we're getting some lions. Oh, he's going, he's going. Here's our first little lion. <gasps> he's so handsome. What are we gonna call you? 
Paco. Oh, don't be sad. You're fine. Gosh, these animals are so entitled. Tickets are underpriced. All right, fuckers. 14 bucks each. Are you guys still mad about this? It's just a fucking elephant. Okay, you know what? This is getting out of hand. Where the fuck is it? Hold on, hold on. There you go. Shush, it's a shush sign. You're scaring Janine. Calm down. Imagine running up these stairs. All right, new life. Wait, what the? <gasps> Paco! Paco, what are you doing? Get back inside. You can't do that. Oh my god. Well, at least we could replace him <laughs> with your girlfriend. Your girlfriend's here. The disrespect of this lion. You know what? See if you can fucking escape again. Yeah, see if you can jump that. Oh, well, cats can jump super high. Not any fucking more. God. Dangerous animal fighting. What? Why? There's enough space for both of you. Yeah, calm the fuck down. Gosh, you fucking snowflakes. See? Everything's fine. If you just stop getting the Why is nobody going through my spooky tunnel? Okay, you're all congesting around Janine. I want you to go upstairs. There's cool stuff up there. All right, new landscaping project. I know it looks sus right now, but it's not what you expect it's gonna be. Come on, come on. It's exactly what you expected it was gonna be. I promise you guys, you are not prepared for the masterpiece that's about to be created. Just fill this bitch up with water. Oh God, it's gonna be perfect. If you thought I was doing a pee pee fountain, you were so correct. Oh God. Put some pretty flowers around it. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I may have put like, mm -mm, at maybe a little bit too much effort into this. I don't know. There she is in her full glory. <laughs> so beautiful. I don't know why people get excited about zebras because they're basically just painted donkeys. You know? Prove me wrong, I dare you. And your name shall be... If you're so angry with each other, just get a divorce! There's no need to fight! Look at these disgusting protesters bothering our elephant! This is not okay! If you guys want Janine so bad, you can have her! There, go! Go, Janine! Go, why are you moving? Just go, you're free! Do I just need to take more off? No? Janine, you, you're so fucking stupid! <laughs> no? Is it the door? Oh! Apparently she's out now! And she's not doing any- Oh my god, Janine is free and she doesn't even know. This says so much! I fucking hate you, Janine. Before you go, every other week on the Fake Gamer Girl Discord server, link below, we hold a little friendly competition. This week's competition was to come up with the lamest joke, and the winner is Strawberry with what's a snake's favorite kind of underwear? A cobra. <laughs> That's so shit. Join the server to partake in this week's competition where you have to give me the sickest roast. Give me your worst, I can take it. You must submit through the Discord server and must be 16 plus to join. See you there. Thanks for watching my video, new videos every Wednesday, social medias are linked below, share with a friend to help me grow, and always remember... <laughs> no, this is the mom, please.